Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Gemini. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Gemini. Any placement. Flip and switch the energy. Take what resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Gemini reading. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know? What's the T? We got a false person. Somebody being fake. Okay. For Gemini. What's the T? Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What does Gemini need to know? Look like y'all stuff is hidden. With that false person. Hmm. Things are not as they appear. We got toil and labor, something about work. Okay, working towards something, mastering something. For Gemini, we have distant horizon and journey. Somebody traveling for work, message. Everybody getting this message card today. Message from the divine. The way that I have been breaking it down is there is something to sort through. Emails, texts from somebody you already opened that message. Really reading between the lines. Uh, a invoice some kind of invite out some kind of a uh, summons okay something going on here with a message you need to sort through some of y'all have too many messages you need to open them <laughs> okay could be something about travel in there could be something you owe when you went on a trip something going on here okay toilet labor journey distant horizon now some of you could be finding your life purpose what you're supposed to do for work journey toil and labor distant horizon is going to uh bring you fortune going to bring you closer to your destiny your path okay message from the divine with the seven number though it's giving divine path divine purpose distant horizon someone could be coming towards you to come and see you to work towards something with you someone could be on a spiritual journey seven journey let's clarify let's see What's the NG for Gemini, please? There could be a third party in the mix or there's something about friendship. Someone could also be drinking. They're making their own wine here. Cancer energy. Leo with the strength. Y'all could be dealing with a cancer Leo cusp. Okay. Or have either of them signs in y'all's chart. Or somebody else do. This is about empowerment for some of you. Hmm. Pushing through something. Let's see. Someone could be regaining confidence. Some of you do travel for work. Some of you work abroad. Some of you could work on the C with that anchor. Some of your initials could be CM. When you're dealing with somebody with CM, let's see. Or CM could be in your name. What's toil and labor? Yeah, a whole lot of hard work. Some of you work very hard. Or you work in a very physical environment like it's a whole lot of work okay sagittarius energy with the ten of wands what's toil and labor labor for gemini the moon and a page of swords went opposing ways someone's looking into something that does not feel right in the workplace they're uncertain about is this if this is for them someone could work in communications some kind of speaker activist spokesman something someone's a truth teller moon to the page of swords some of you are on different sides of whoever you work for you don't agree with the way that they do things you want to speak up speak out about something in the workplace you could work in a position where you speak out about things done in the dark shit this is your path to be a truth teller for some of you okay some of you there's a corrupt business or your business is corrupt shit what kind of secrets are being broadcast in the workplace or in regards to something you do for work like the industry of it i got respect the game meek mills on the tv 
respect the game. And he's a Taurus, if that's relevant. Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay. Envy, stalking, watching, observing, looking into something. Observant. Emotions, fear, deceit. Things are not as they appear with the moon in the workplace. Someone could be fearful about working towards something with you. They don't know how to communicate that. Someone's destiny is to speak out, relay, broadcast the dreams, the intuitive messages they receive. That is their, their work. deep <laughs> and it will be very successful some of you are meant to travel to do something here some of you could be in the army he is suited and booted in armor and those stars on the ceiling could be symbolic for uh, ooh, a wraith for some of you but uh, like a police person official and then there's a health symbol for some of you it's a twin with the black and white sphinx for some of you, this is an authoritative figure getting ready to come towards you. He's getting in the car. Some of you are getting ready to go on a mission. Some of y'all could be in the army. Yeah. Or maybe this is something you're called to do. Toilet and labor. Interesting. I feel like someone wants to come towards you, though. What's the moon for Gemini? With the way that he's getting in that car. Or this is the devil. Ooh, 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 ugh. It's black magic, moon magic, and the Knight of Pentacles root word. Damn, well, that just took a twist to cause it to rain on somebody's parade emotionally. Someone's fearing. The devil is fear. The moon is fear. The devil is deceit. The moon is deceit. The devil is deceptive. The moon is deceit. The devil is bound, energy vampire, due to someone's emotions. Not a pinnacles though. That's a great card unless someone's being slowed down or overcautious. This could be a toxic workplace environment too. Toy and labor devil. Someone's spreading toxicity. Page of swords devil. Ooh, yeah, in the moon. It's it's ooh, yeah. Someone's spreading toxicity, making it rain on people's parades or a place that should be fulfilling and happy. Not a pinnacle, though. It's a workplace. It's dedication, loyalty, trustworthy, caution. Working towards something. Toil and labor, not a pinnacle. Some of you are not certain what you want to do for work. You could be fearing trying something new. Someone's uncertain about committing to you. They could be fearing telling you this or going ahead or making a go ahead to do so. They are afraid of getting hurt. Ten of Cups with the rain on the card. One of those situations. What is you? Some of y'all work in a place or work for a place or an industry that has a lot of secrets. And you could want to speak out about it. Journey. It's given ancestral lineage, ace of swords to the four of wands journey. Because the fourth house in your birth chart could definitely be, I'm saying home, house. Something about ancestral background. Okay. Journey. That's deep. I'm reading intuitively. So the four of wands is also about a home, family. Somebody could be returning home. Uh, four of wands is that as well. Someone found something out, so they're leaving something behind. They're coming home. If they worked abroad or something. Some kind of secrets. Moon and the devil. Dark secrets. It's giving a cult-like vibe. Everybody got their head down. They're not saying nothing. They're keeping their head down in this workplace. Someone... Mm-mm. She got a ponytail, too. Someone's keeping their head down in the workplace, and someone wants to broadcast it. 
It's giving minions and someone that stands up. There were all of these people here, head down, working. This person like, I got something to say. And they're being guided and supported by spirit with this bird to say it. And they go on their own journey. <laughs> That's for somebody. I ain't playing. Shit. Hell yeah, there's a bird right here too. Oh shit. Damn. Okay. A journey for wines. Page of Pentacles. What's this? What was learned? A whole lot of student energy here. What's this page of pentacles? I got Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Something about the start of something. Persistence, consistent. Page of Pentacles. Looking into something, studying something. Receiving someone. Activity goals, progress, life force, energy, new patterns, receptivity, opening up, generosity, gifts, page of pentacles, assistance, six of pentacles, journey, four wine, stability, truth and expression. Somebody's meant to be a truth teller. Don't surprise me. We in Gemini energy. Some of y'all are meant to be speakers. Or it's your path to speak out on something specifically, which will change the course of your life forever in a distant horizon. It may even bring you fortune. All that glitter ain't gold for some of you in this toxic workplace, cult like environment, or this whatever this is you do for work or money. You thought it was golden. For some of you. Okay, someone wants to come towards you for a st uh, stable offer. For some of you, they want to start small, but it will lead to a long-term commitment. They want to have an equal give and, give and receive dynamic with you. For some of you, you could definitely travel for work. You're looking for something st solid. Maybe you want to study, but you could be coming back home for a break or something, a journey, for a while, or you need a break this summer. For some of you, I feel like you're trying to figure out what you want to do with activity and goals. I feel like a lot of you want to study something. Some of you could be married to or want marriage. Or this is someone that is married that would like to come towards you to start over, to give to you equally. Spend the rest of their life with you if they're not dealing with somebody else. But um, maybe they do want to be with you whether they're dealing with somebody else or not. Or this you. But more than anything, I feel like someone is getting fired up about what's next for them. Distant Horizon. Whether it's a person or some kind of workplace environment. And being consistent with giving. What is true? Distant horizon or receiving. Someone wants long-term stability too. Four of wands. Receive. What's distant horizon for Gemini? The Hierophant. Some of you are meant to be teachers. Speakers. Guiders, counsels, your own endeavors, your own business, institution. For some of you, that's an institution, company, moon. <laughs> oh, this is a cult. Oh, this is a cult. Moon, devil, hierophant. There are some powerful dark forces surrounding you and your life, Gemini. Rather this be spiritual dark forces, entities at night, a cult that's doing things to you, unbeknownst to you. Maybe you know. Maybe you feel like you're under attack. Maybe you feel like all eyes are stacked against you. Or you work for someone that is very, very high ranking up on the up and up. And their life looks quite pleasant, but they are a dark person. Someone sold their soul. Someone made a sacrifice. Someone made an offer for stability. In order to receive, they gave. For their journey, their path. To be successful. They are being judged. 
by the divine for their decisions. They could have even sacrificed someone in their family room for sudden wealth. I was <laughs> tiptoeing around it, but it's here. For others of you, someone would like to be in a long-term commitment with you, but they first have to work through their fears and sense of uncertainties or where they are in their own personal life. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. What's the Hierophant? Falling over the devil, chariot. Someone wants to come towards you. This institution will be held, <laughs> held accountable <laughs> by their actions, for their actions, with this being some kind of officer of the law for some of you. Cause and effect, the black and the white, the yin and the yang. For some of you, this person is coming towards you. Y'all's destiny is interwoven with another. There is a contract. There is a cycle. There is something that needs to be fulfilled. Death, there is something that is ending. World to the death. This institution is going down. This corrupt business, this corrupt leader. Okay. Then, oh, goodness gracious. Some of you are officers of the law. This is your journey. This is your path. What is this? Whatever it is, it's a big deal. Two major arcanas. What's this in Horizon? I'm scared to flip it over. Illusions. It's not real. It's giving this dream job you thought is not real. It's this relationship, this marriage is un is unhealthy, it's not real. It's codependent. For some of you, there's some kind of confusion about who you work for. For some of you, this person is confused about what they want with you. For some of you, they're stuck. They're in limbo in this energy right here, frozen in time, getting in the car. They want to. This is their intention. But just like this car is frozen with this illustration, this is this person. Not seeing clearly. They don't know what to do. Fantasy. Escapism. Somebody could have ex got it. Damn. With the chains and shackles. Somebody could have broke out of jail. Damn, that's crazy. That's that's crazy. Okay. Codependency. Because uh, the, uh, the, the hyphen is an institution. Chains here. Oh, Lord. Too many, uh... <laughs> Too many scenarios. But anyways, um... Yeah, somebody broke out of jail or tried to freedom. I'm telling you. Wow. Or somebody planning to break out of jail. Or break out of a situation where they feel restricted and stuck. Or they are codependent on another situation, institution, or person. What's the outcome for this? I feel like someone's coming towards you or this is you going towards someone. Someone is dealing with a toxic workplace environment where they're codependent on what they offer them, what they give them. They have somehow planned their whole future. It's like whatever they did, they sold, they sold, whatever it is, they are stuck, anchored to whatever that is. Distant horizons for a long time to come. They want out freedom. But they're doubtful that they can have that, do that. There's someone that would like to commit to you. But they have to take a leap of faith and get out of this not hopeful moon energy over there. Confusion energy over there or they're in a marriage or a commitment where someone's keeping them confused bound even with the devil in chains by spell work that's deep what's the situation what's the outcome for gemini falling over the devil the world oh beautiful and an apology new cycle I got something to say, but I don't. It says, karmic completion, travel. Lots of travel here. Journey. Chariot, travel. Travel. Fulfillment. World. Karmic completion, death. And the five of pentacles. Achievement after obstacles. Success. Cherry, success. Butterfly. Some kind of transformation. The death is also transformation. For some of you, someone wants out of this world, world to the death, and they feel like that's the only way out. For whoever this is that sold their soul or did something they feel like they can't come back from very true with escapism this guy here this apology energy with his rose guilt wants to speak their heart emotional confession 
they did something they feel like they can't come back from for some of you this is someone closing out a cycle where they feel stuck in their minds or with a person in order to come towards you with an apology or this is you some of you just simply want to right your wrongs with someone else there's a transformation happening taurus with chris brown on the tv city girls okay Somebody could have been playing around with loose women instead of committing. And they are apologetic about that as well. Someone's going through an awakening. What's the message at the bottom of the deck for Gemini? Damn, that's deep. So these messages have been coming from the divine, the universe. Or this person has been telepathically communicating with you. How they feel, what they're doing. Someone has been showing up in your dreams. So it's time to take a look at those messages. Sort through them with that Gemini intellectual energy. Astro travel, some of you could be astro travelers. And the messages you receive from that realm or divine messages, guidance even. But with spirit guides here, your spirit guides have also been guiding you. Because that same bird that's on this distant horizon card right here is right here too. Period. In order to push you forward. That's deep as fuck. Different people made these motherfucking cards. I'm telling you. The messages you see. The guidance you need is within. Communication. Take a look at self. Signs and guides. Damn. And there is the moon again. So there is a need to go within. About what's next for you. Whether it be work. Rather be this dark entity. Entity can be a place or something or a being. And um, for some of you, you're dealing with your own internal things you have to sort through. Well, this is your person. But more than anything, the best thing you could do right now is to release what no longer serves. And whatever transformation that will come through on the other side will be in divine time, not your time. And really push through your emotions in order to bring something to a balance for you or your person. But focus on you and your own path. Peace.